I feel someone failed you in a situation by being low vibrational or trying to control the situation through a false narrative or some very lackluster ways. I feel this is someone who is very distorted in their way of thinking, their beliefs, their values, as there could be some type of discord within the situation or the connection. For many of you, there is challenges when dealing with a lover situation where there is frustration within a separation mentally or physically but I feel there is also failure to meet someone's needs as well hmm. wow. here's a temperance card in the reverse this is also letting me know someone is avoiding a choice avoiding a resolution this energy is still sitting in a space of challenges and struggling through it this is someone who is also very defensive. We also have the Emperor here in the reverse, letting me know this is someone who failed to lead, failed to do what they were supposed to do within a position or a connection, as the Hierophant is also in the reverse. We have the Ten of Wands as well as the Two of Wands energy. This is letting me know this is a very foolish energy. This is someone who exercises false narratives and never really gives the truth as they are lying or very malice when it comes to affairs of the heart. This is someone who can also be very superficial, theatrical in some type of way here with the Page of Wands in the reverse. Someone is definitely, definitely overdoing something. Here would be two of swords in the reverse as well as the four swords in the reverse. Wow. So here we have the four swords in the reverse, the two of swords in the reverse as well as the three of swords. This is a painful situation where someone is very bitter when it comes to the truth. Hmm. And this energy is continuing something. This energy is unwilling to lay something to rest. Here with the Four of Swords in the reverse, someone is being strategical as well. Seven of Swords. Mm. This is someone who has a lot of trickery, strategy, and tactics when it comes to getting what they want. Mm. Wow, there's a lot of Swords energy here where someone is definitely cutthroat. Mm. We have the Knight of Cups as well as the King of Cups, both are in the reverse. This is letting me know this is someone who is unreliable, fickle, very manipulative when they want something. I feel this is someone who is lacking emotional intelligence, always trying to gain control within the situation because they're doing things that make them feel out of control. I feel this energy is very chaotic when it comes to a state of mind. This is why so, so many of the swords energy is here and many of them are in the reverse. We also have the ace of wands, the four of wands, as well as the five of wands. So here we have someone who created a false start or some type of false narrative within a separation causing more tension, turbulence, anxiety. Something was not planned or followed through by this energy. In fact, I feel there was a lot of arguments because they're dealing with a lot of inner and outer conflicts. This is someone who is truly struggling and this is why they're also putting others through the struggle. This is someone who is putting you in some type of competition, some type of struggle or tension, some type of rivalry, especially when it comes to affairs of the heart because there's heartbreak, especially when it comes to the Ten of Swords. Someone's not wanting to be defeated. This is why they're causing something to go on as long as it has. I feel this is someone who is very careless when it comes to their actions here with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. We also have the Ten of Pentacles here. I feel this energy is careless when it comes to their legacy. This energy is very wasteful when it comes to an Empress energy, you. Someone is very wasteful and has no direction in life because they're making a lot of trifling mistakes here with the moon card in the reverse. Here with the moon card in the reverse, there is no truth, only deception when dealing with this energy who barely works from a space of consciousness. There's no true reality when dealing with this energy who is somewhat cunning, Page of Swords in the reverse. We also have the Knight of Swords, where someone is crafty when it comes to deceit, lies, and betrayal. I feel this is someone you could barely trust because they have a mouthful of lies, always taking the easy way out through strategies. Hierophant in the reverse. Wow, we 
we also have the Hermit card. So this is someone who is very hasty, isolated. Hmm. There's a sense of darkness when dealing with this energy where there's a lot of mistrust when it comes to the High Priestess energy. I feel when it comes to your energy, there's a lot of wisdom, change, a, flu a fluctuation when it comes to your perspective of this energy who is not who they claim to be. You had to clear this away, Queen of Swords. I feel you have to do something quickly or intelligently. Choosing your words wisely while dealing with someone who is a complete fool. This is someone who's made a fool of themselves because of their insecurities. Five of Pentacles energy. This energy can be very reckless or aggressive, only creating tower moments. Something has been changed. I feel the foundation has shifted and someone's getting a reality check. Someone failed here with the world card in the reverse, Knight of Swords, well, Knight of Wands, as well as the Two of Pentacles. Someone failed in creating balance, and this is why there's a tower moment here. I feel you feel this energy is cruel, bigoted, or careless with your heart. You feel in so many ways they have an evil mind. This is someone who is frustrated because they didn't get what they wanted from you, when in fact I feel you gave more than enough. I feel here with the Magician card in the reverse, someone didn't see something for what it was. Always trying to manipulate a situation, someone carelessly disappointed you, failed you, betrayed you. Hmm. This energy is coming out as dull, always unsatisfied with the situation. This is why they're always seeking more, causing some type of mayhem when it comes to affairs of the heart. Especially you, since you've been truthful and protective when coming to their rescue or dealing with this energy, you have always given a thousand percent. But I feel this energy is always coming up short. Misfortune here with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This energy has just been a waste of time. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. There's a lot of chaos when dealing with this energy who is always giving up or trying to take the easy way out. I feel this energy is also stuck in a sense of pride and also going through a sense of debt. This debt could be mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and even financially. Please take it how it resonates, but this energy will be defeated in so many ways. I feel this energy thinks they have gotten away with something strategically, but they're really stuck. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse. Wow. Someone's strength has been tested. There's a lot of anxiety when dealing with this energy and a lot of strife when dealing with the past. I feel for many of you, you feel like you were left in bondage. Wow. Feeling like you have nothing left. This energy completely exhausted you. I feel this energy is pushed by their desires. They allow their desires or their weaknesses to lead them. This is why they're always causing some type of grief or loss when it comes to relationships. This energy is very excessive when it comes to their foolish ways. Wow, very biased energy. This energy feels like what they do is not what you should be doing. As this energy is very materialistic and selfish. Always making mistakes, but they don't feel that you can. Still hanging on to something, someone has no justice, no closure when dealing with this energy. You've been kind, you've also tried to extend some type of olive branch, but this energy rejected you. Page of Cups, this energy is a poor communicator, especially when it comes to emotions and affairs of the heart. Two of Cups is in the reverse. Wow. Here with the Two of Cups in the reverse, someone is not communicating with a close connection, a close bond that they had. There is no newness within the situation, Ace of Cups. This energy is always repressing their emotions and the heart chakra is blocked. This energy is not thinking logically when it comes to affairs in the heart. Here with these Ace of Swords in the reverse, someone is emotionally unprepared. This energy is very reckless when it comes to affairs of the heart, always disappointing you and so many others in so many ways. But I feel something is about to come to rest. Something's about to be put in perspective. Let's get a little bit more energy here from a different day.
soul. So when dealing with this energy, it's like fire and ice. There's always some type of imbalance or conflict when dealing with this energy. Nothing's ever easy because this energy is truly never satisfied. Always lost in their thoughts or lost in some type of illusion. Someone is always feeling like they're missing out, which always leads them to look for more, creating more chaos. More chaos and confusion within a situation that only causes uncertainty. Emotional tidal waves because this energy is empty. This is someone who is empty and vulnerable. This is why they're always causing confusion and chaos. Always believing the grass is greener on the other side. This is someone who is always keeping their options open with some type of facade. For many of you, you could be dealing with someone who has some very selfish or clownish ways where this energy is never speaking a truth. Someone is not saying something with intention as this energy is always ghosting or gaslighting you, never truly seeking forgiveness. In so many ways, this is someone who is bound to their vulnerabilities, their ego, their triggers and even their insecurities this is why they're always believing something is worth it when it clearly isn't while this energy is coming out as withdrawn still playing games still putting on some type of show or facade when it comes to trust issues because they're not speaking the truth this energy is muzzled still not talking still not speaking in an effort to control the narrative or even control you this is why there's a sense of a sense of um disconnect someone's withdrawn hmm. I feel this energy is withdrawn because they're wanting control this energy is feeling powerless so whenever they do feel powerless this energy is trying to trigger your fears this is coming out as a Venus flytrap where there's some type of bait and switch situation where someone is somehow burning up a bridge with you. Someone is coming out with some very narcissistic ways because this energy is invested in the wrong things. They have a lot of baggage. This is someone who vanishes when things get hot or vanishes when they create a lot of chaos and drama. And when they feel the coast is clear and the dust has settled, this energy tries to re-enter your life. But I feel recently this energy has somehow pushed you to a boiling point. Someone took the easy way out, created some type of narrative through tricks and fraudulent ways. But I feel it's also attached to all of the baggage and the things they're not saying. For many of you, this is someone who has already burned a bridge with you by trying to trigger your fears and withdrawing from a situation. Many of you are not dealing with this mess while others are truly praying for them to recover or do better. But there's too many secrets. This is someone who has a lot of skeletons in the closet, obstacles, but no solutions. I feel a road is closed when dealing with this energy who has the walls up. These walls are like a fortress, a fortress that cannot be penetrated uh, or broken down. I feel this is someone who's projecting and reflecting because they're still putting on a show. As I said before, this is someone who's very theatric, theatric and very drama filled. Mm. Always looking for the attention. This energy is coming out as someone who has fiery energy of a runner, someone who is always playing the blank game and never truly being accountable. Hmm. Wow. I feel like this is someone who has crossed you in many ways yet has been silent or distant as they feel you're starting to see straight through their games and mind play as this energy has constantly lied to you yet still expecting trust and loyalty. Yet being two-faced for so long has only caused them to forget which part of themselves is truly real. This is why this energy is showing up as unpredictable. Many of you don't trust them because of all the mind games and illusion. I feel like this is someone who always has a trick up their sleeve, yet always finds a way to be mad at you for speaking the truth. 
because things didn't work out, someone is sitting in a space of bitterness. But I sense, because of the mind play and this energy always being precise when it comes to never taking accountability or trying to imprint something on you by playing the victim or using you as a pawn, someone has a bolt of secrets that is about to explode. This is connected to a dark night of the soul where someone is being hot and cold within a situation and still searching for fool's gold. Wow. But I sense since things did not go as planned, this energy is not realizing it's because of their own actions. But I sense they were never supposed to be rewarded for their toxic ways. As I sense no one who intentionally causes pain to another will ever end up in a better situation no matter how hard they play the game. I feel this is someone who is always playing games, causing something to drift apart. Wow, many of you felt attached or trapped in this situation where this energy has done a lot of things to keep you in their energy. This energy has done a lot of things out of camouflage, camouflaging their insecurities or some type of transformation. This energy lacks focus. This is why they're always in some type of whirlpool or some cycle that never ends. Many of you have felt trapped in this situation believing that nothing will change, nothing will ever end, causing you to need first aid when dealing with them. This is someone who is always in the wetlands, always in the mix, yet running from self, running from the free will. This is someone who is always playing the puppet master. Always trying to manipulate situations, manipulate the character of others as well as themselves. I feel this is someone who wants you to bite the apple. Hmm. But many of you are already looking for an exit strategy. Many of you are already looking for the exit or has already exited this situation because there was too much of a push and pull dynamic with this energy. Um, who is always sabotaging things. This energy is defeating self. Wow. Someone is putting themselves in a space of defeat because of their choices. Not knowing which way to go, someone is always being very bullheaded and creating mixed signals within a situation, provoking or just being a stonewall. As I said before, I feel this energy has walls up as if it was a fortress. It's unbreakable. Because of their mindset, this energy is very boastful. Never giving in to humiliation. This energy has no boundaries when it comes to love. And I feel they're just too comfortable when it comes to being toxic. This is someone who fails to be authentic within a situation, but I feel when this energy is put under pressure, there's a lot of emotion. I feel this is someone who overdid something with you. And they're always creating some type of excuses. But I feel this energy has yet to even say that they're sorry because they're filled with trauma and seeking attention. In so many ways, this energy does want to spin the block, circle the block, and repeat something with you. But many of you feel like something is lost. This energy is being judged for being stubborn. And they're just going to have to pay the toll. When dealing with this energy, they have no focus. It seems like they have no heart. This is why you may need a first aid kit just to fix what is, fix what is broken when dealing with them. This energy wants to control, but they lack control even when dealing with self. Because these games that they play have just gotten out of hand and it's hurting everyone involved. This is someone who's very careless, but I feel in so many ways they're about to hit a dead end when it comes to their ways because the road is closed. This energy likes to pretend that they're not affected but they truly are causing many of you to walk away. This energy has already burned a bridge with you. I feel like this energy pushed you to your boiling point triggering some fears or triggering they could never lose. This energy never really realize by their actions they have already lost. Mm. But I sense no one who intentionally causes these to go down will ever receive the reward that they seek. Nothing will come from this. 
not what they seek. Let's get some more energy here. Well, this energy is coming out as kryptonite. Someone who is all about the superficial. This is someone who is definitely a wolf in sheep's clothing. Many of you feel like this energy cannot be trusted. And for others, they just seem to be your kryptonite. I feel this is someone who is always trying to create some type of narrative. To create some type of open door. But I feel they're not wanting to say they're sorry or be exposed. This energy sometimes act like they don't even care. Never knowing where you stand with them, many of you have had to part ways. You're tired of dealing with someone who is inconsistent and always, always breaking your heart. As I sense, this is someone who refuses to identify or recognize the needs and feelings of others as they lack empathy or some type of sympathy for all the troubles they've caused. Feeling unfazed by their hurtful or selfish ways, this energy is almost impossible to deal with. Especially since they lack the ability to be genuine, authentic, and respond in accordance to emotions and feelings of others. Which only gives them the extra confidence, the extra edge to manipulate or exploit the true nature of the innocence. I feel this is why this energy is coming out as kryptonite. Because in so many ways they're toxic, but it's hard to resist. Yeah, this is someone who tries to rock the boat. Always putting you in some type of upheaval or change that was unexpected. This is someone who is always making moves that blindside you. I feel this is someone who is always looking for the next best thing. Lacks direction. This energy is impulsive and never truly headed anywhere. Wow. Always stringing something along, pretending to have some type of substance, but this energy is full of hot air. This is someone who plays mind games to make others feel inadequate, codependent, but they are also covering up their two-faced ways, playing a dirty game. They use others' lack of experience when it comes to love or ways of the street. This energy somehow corners you acting interested hmm. I feel like this energy acts interested in your problems and then use them against you at a later date as this energy drains you this energy is coming out as Dracula because they suck the life out of you I feel you're a giver you would have given them anything you gave them your heart but this energy was a parasite living off of money or status or pretending to be something that they're not they make something so much harder to deal with they twist your words and also make promises that only ends in more war than peace this is someone who's coming out as a smooth criminal while leaving a trail of lies but thinks they are under the radar when it comes to getting caught because someone definitely stole your heart by being someone they truly were not. So now they could be gone with the wind or gone in the wind. This energy quickly appears just as fast as they vanishes. Always placing the blame or shifting the blame. This energy is never accountable for their own actions, which also burned a bridge with you. I feel also this energy is burning bridges in order to isolate or control the situation that was only meant to crash and burn because they were never authentic. Nothing like you. Mm. Playing basic mind games. This is someone who is always trying to optimize a situation to enhance their own needs. But I feel it only caused you to live a nightmare because this energy creates an illusion that they will eventually change and all your hard work was worth it, but it truly wasn't. Because this energy is always giving someone a reason to leave and never look back. 
many of you already knew it was time to go. It was time to release what was going on in this situation because this person's actions have a tendency to have a ripple effect. Um, going down like a Titanic, this is someone who is living a space of misery. And of course, misery always loves a little, a little company. So this is someone who is always putting you in a space where you feel you need to make some hurtful choices, but I feel these choices are completely necessary when dealing with someone who has some very narcissistic ways. I feel you put yourself in a situation to love and care for this energy, and they took it lightly. Someone didn't take you seriously, so they took you for granted, stringing something along and draining you in the process. I feel this energy was able to drain you because they promised you everything. They promised you a lot of things, but never followed through with their promises or what they thought they could give you. I feel this energy just made things more harder than it needed to be. But I feel in so many ways, many of you already know the choices that were made needed to take place. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more energy from this thing. And blah, blah, blah. Yep. I feel like you don't believe a word they say. Because this energy is always rocking the boat with their lies and betrayal. I feel this energy is never telling the truth. Mm. Wow. But I feel when the charm and the distorted facts don't work. They place doubt. I feel this energy places doubt, projecting and blaming rather than being responsible for what they've done or said, causing them to be deeply submerged in a false reality of denial, just to prote protect some type of fragile ego and maintain a sense of value in a situation where they have no power, no control. Yet they pretend to. Yet in so many ways I feel like this energy is over playing their hand. But doesn't want to be judged for it. Let's get some more energy here. Let's get some more energy. Oh, that's great. Final message here. Casper. Whoa. Whoa. This is someone who feels like everyone should follow their lead. Even if they have mindless direction, this is someone who is still in a space of cloudy judgment. This is someone who has their head in the clouds. But I feel the destination is nowhere. I feel nothing leads to nothing, where this energy is always inconsistent, in and out playing games of Casper. This energy is never there, never present in the situation, but always seeking your loyalty, always seeking 100% from you when they are giving next to none. I feel this energy is still sitting in a space where they are trapped by their own insecurities, hmm. pretending to be of value, but they clearly have nothing. I feel this energy is still sitting in a space of nothing because they're always playing games, being reckless with this in with their energy. This energy is always going balls to the wall. There's a hard shift for this energy. There is about to be some type of shift. Wow. I feel it's in regards to someone being a shapeshifter, masking their problems, pretending their problems don't exist or faking some type of perfect life. This energy is coming out as someone who is cunning and also dependent. This is someone who pretends to take relationships and connections seriously, but I feel they play this game for their own entertainment. Because this is someone who wants more. This is someone who wants more than they can handle. But I feel they're always involved in some type of monkey business. Something is never the same. You can't rely on their energy. Hmm. 
this energy is coming out as happy-go-lucky, but I feel when the charm wears off, you see a very dark side to their personality. This is someone who can definitely make a mountain out of a molehill, pretending to be something that they're not. This energy is coming out as hot and cold as others are walking around on eggshells. Wow. This is someone who plays games with the emotions of others by either trapping them emotionally or even physically. This is someone who acts one way in front of people and another behind closed doors. This is someone who is a non-giver. A non-giver who is all about self, who is always holding back emotionally in order to have the upper hand. Even becoming angry or irritated when others are not following their lead but I feel this energy is always aimless when it comes to their toxic behaviors or the way they choose to treat others because it's always some type of bait and switch when dealing with this energy someone who has a mouth full of lies never telling the truth because whatever they say is a straight up lie or it's not based on facts or even the truth. They just can't handle stuff. This is why they're always making things up. Devil, Devil's advocate energy here. As this energy is trapped in their own weaknesses and addictions. And attracting the same energies. Um, I feel this energy is attracted to you because of your light. I feel this energy is attracted to you because of your kind heart and the fact that you are always willing to compromise. And in so many ways, you're also their kryptonite. Because it's hard not to choose you. Even though they know they don't deserve you. A wolf in sheep's clothing trying to turn back the hands of time. I also feel there is outside interferences here. This could be friends, family, or even a karmic energy. Please take it how it resonates. But I feel this is someone who is sitting in a space of misery, believing they've gotten away with something. But I feel they won't get what they thought they were going to achieve. There's no reward for their chaos and conflict. Let's get final deck for just a little bit more confirmation and I'm going to let you guys go. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Let's get some more energy here. Someone who is definitely ignoring the signs and not listening to their intuition. In fact, they're having a lot of late nights trying to cope. But I feel they always seem to make the wrong choice. This energy is coming out as a fallen angel. For many of you, this is someone who is about to do something out of the blue. I feel this energy is very impulsive, especially when it comes to you, because they do feel there is still some type of connection. This is someone who does a lot of things out of a toxic way of being, but they still don't want to be released from your energy. They still see you as a guiding soul. Someone they still feel drawn to. There is some type of unexplainable connection they feel they have with you. But I feel for many of you, you just want them to get it right. But they always seem to just get it wrong or from the looks of things. Their actions and toxic ways of coping may have put them in a windfall of karmic debt, as they are currently paying a heavy price for mistaking your loyalty and compromise as a weakness. But I also feel in many ways they're reaping what they've sown just by having no access to you, which I sense is the very beginning to their misery. Someone is still not using their intuition when dealing with a situation, still ignoring the signs, this energy is still putting on a show. I feel they're still putting on a show because they're empty, lacking value or direction in life. This energy is aimlessly putting their energy everywhere. I feel this energy trying to cope in these ways are only leaving them aimless or lost, yet lucky for them, you gave them more than they deserved. But without you, they'll never be that lucky again. 
I feel someone played a very dangerous game that they were never supposed to win because they made a lot of bad choices when it comes to you. They were petty, impulsive, and never using their intuition, always breaking your heart. Breaking your heart by being hot and cold and consistent when it comes to affairs of the heart. I feel for many of you, you had hope for this until someone destroyed it completely. But in so many ways, this energy is still holding on and has a fear of losing you, losing you for good, as there may not be another chance to revive this. If this energy is still curious, this is someone who is very curious about you, wondering if you are still connected or if they can affect you emotionally to pull you back in. But I feel that is not the case. I feel many of you are not budging if this energy hasn't changed, healed, or tried to make some type of self-improvement. Because without it, you're going to still be moving in silence. Wow. So I feel like this energy is curious, but they're still being petty about an apology. This is why they could be at a distance or trying to control things through distance and space silence but i feel their insecurities and emotional distractions have left them in a very toxic space i feel like this is someone who is scattered and all over the place this is someone who's all over the place and still stuck in some old ways old attachments unhealthy attachments that leave them disconnected from life emotional bonds and relationships I feel this energy is still attached to things that are keeping them unhealthy mentally and emotionally, causing something to be a very messy situation because this energy is very stubborn and nothing seems to add up. I feel this is someone who has more than one problem or more than one issue involved. This is why they're hiding from you because they know they're not being honest. This is someone who is not being honest because they feel like they're unworthy, but this energy still wants you to reconsider. Someone wants you to reconsider after gaslighting you, breadcrumbing you, or just not taking you seriously in this situation. But I feel this is someone who's already received their final warning, and they played with it. Now, you're trusting the process. You're trusting the process and allowing this person to receive whatever consequences that come their way because they're the one putting on the show. And you're refusing to play the game. Because as I said before, they've been lucky in the past and you've given them so much that they didn't even deserve. They just won't be too lucky at the end of it. Because many of you have such a big heart, you're still praying for them. You still pray that this energy finds a way when they are the ones who lack in a sense of worth. They don't even believe in themselves. But I feel they're about to get a taste of their own medicine. Because you just might be loving them from a distance. I feel you could be loving them from a distance because things were too one-sided. Now many of you just want them to keep, keep out or take life seriously to find their way. Because until then, you'll be finding your own purpose, using your own life. This energy broke your heart because they had no vision, no clarity when it comes to a truth. Now, you could be seeking time for yourself. Air energy is also letting me know that something is left up in the air this could be involving an Aquarius, gemini libra please take it how it resonates of course reverse the roles if never necessary but you're leveling up wow you're not wasting your time there's a lot of intense emotions when dealing with this energy who is back and forth still observing you wow i feel like in so many ways shape shift your energy Wow, this energy thought that you were going to chase. This energy thought that you would forever be chasing their energy, never giving in to this connection because they feel like you would never let go. But I feel in the midst of everything, this energy didn't see this coming. They didn't see you finding your own way. Wow, I feel like in so many ways, this energy believes they broke hearts and created confusion without consequences. Yet I sense the negative energy 
in reckless ways will end up hurting them in the long run. I feel things will end up ca catching up to them in ways they never expected as the payback of karma and consequences will equal the pain they have caused, if not more. If this energy is still distracted and disconnected, many of you are trying to keep the peace with the Taurus or Virgo energy, Capricorn energy, please take it how it resonates, but Earth energy here is letting me know this energy is not grounded. This is someone who is burnt out but still trying to come back. Or this energy knows they burnt you out. There's a lot of mental stress. Mental stress and someone's mental health is not connecting here. But I feel the tables have turned when it comes to choices. Wow, the cops could be involved in the situation. Time's up. So time's up for someone who has been lackluster in the situation. Someone should have been taking notes, but instead they gave into some very dark ways. Especially when it comes to third party energy, someone thought that they were getting to the bag, but there's no progress. There's no progress because this energy was always meant to fail when hurting you. This is why there's no progress. This is why there's no reward. I feel like if someone checked their phone, there's a lot of evidence of their salty ways or something that they have said out of pocket when it comes to you. And also playing dumb to third party energies or things that they're trying to forget. Someone's about to have an ego death. This could be attached to a fire energy where things are going up in flames. Sagittarius Leo Aries, please take it how it resonates, but someone is still holding on. Still holding on. Wow. Water energy, there's a lot of emotions here. Pisces, Scorp Scorpio, Cancer, please take it how it resonates. This could be a male energy uh, who is getting some type of advice, but still going in the wrong direction. Hmm. There's too many responsibilities when dealing with this energy and they're confused. This is why they choose not to deal with anything. They want to deal with things of in their own time, hmm. by their own accord. But I feel them playing games or trying to manipulate situations have only broken hearts. I feel there's a lot of broken hearts in the process of this situation where someone who thought that they were going to get away with something is now realizing you see nothing's adding up. There's a reason why you have a lack of trust. And I feel it's completely necessary. This is someone who is very curious about you, but they're still not acknowledging the signs. This energy is still trying to keep from giving some type of apology just so they don't have to admit how wrong or toxic they truly are. But I sense even if this energy never gets exposed for all the wrong that they've caused, everything and every action will still be accounted for as well as paid in full. Through tears and unknown fears, they'll no longer be able to hide or camouflage their pain or even their emotions or issues. I feel someone is hot and cold to hold something back trying their best not to react but when dealing with this karmic debt someone has no choice but to be shaken and disturbed by what is to come as this karmic debt that they have to pay has to outshine the pain they have caused because they were never never meant to win when playing this dirty game i hope you guys have enjoyed this message and it's gained